Crystal, thank you. Coyotes fans will be glued to Mullet Arena tomorrow as the Coyotes likely play their last game in Arizona. And we've spoken to a lot of people that are having a hard time saying goodbye. Steve Nielsen is out front of Mullet Arena with a heartbreaking story tonight. Before Leighton Nicardo died, she touched this team. And after her death, this team has honored her. These reports have hit her family hard. These moments on the ice are ingrained in Carly Accardo's memory. When she was uh, on the line for the anthem and everybody had their phones up with all the lights, her face when she was looking around at all that, um, it's definitely one of my most favorite memories of her. Her daughter Layton became the star of the Arizona Coyotes, signing a one-day contract, facing off on the ice, speaking to the team. My message was play hard, have fun. And the team embraced her after the Coyotes supervan was diagnosed with cancer. She died in 2019, just nine years old. Want to skate around a little bit? These moments mattered. The one she always talked about was um, when she got to go back out um, for practice. And she got to skate with the team and she got to shoot on the goalie and when she scored the whole team went nuts and uh, crowded all around her. That one was pretty special. Too. Now, media reports are speculating Wednesday's game will be the Coyotes last in Arizona. It's hit the Accardos harder than anyone. I definitely had a had a good cry in the car. Layton's legacy is attached to this team. There's the annual Skating for Layton event that's been at Phoenix Children's, Phoenix Raceway, and Mountain America Stadium in her honor. And the Layton Accardo Scholarship Fund that helps girls through the Kachina program. I don't know if it'll still be at the magnitude that we've been able to do it in the past just because we've had the Coyotes help with all of that. The team means a lot more to the Accardos than just a game. It's a legacy. And Wednesday, Carly will be at home with her family watching the puck drop. It'll be pretty emotional. In 2021, Layton was actually inducted into the team's ring of honor. She was the first one in the NHL to be inducted to a team's ring of honor other than a player, a coach, a broadcaster, or a general manager. Layton's mom asked, what will happen now if the team moves? So I asked the team. A spokesperson said, sadly, we can't comment yet. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.